Planning a tour in the back country begins long before the morning that you head out. The more time you give yourself to gather information, the safer your decision making process becomes. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the three phases of planning a tour into the back country. So we're going to look at the long term planning, which happens before, way before the, the day of the tour. Then you look at the last minute planning the night before and then the planning on the day of the tour. The first phase is the long term phase. Nothing beats time in the mountains, but monitoring the long term weather patterns and snow condition in any way is paramount. Gather as much information on recent snowfall, wind direction, temperatures and avalanche activity as possible. Phase two is the night before. Here check the local avalanche report for the coming day. Most countries provide avalanche information services with localised and regional reports and release these the night before. Break down the information, risk rating, aspect, winds, snow, temperatures, getting as much information as you can and making your decision based on the latest information you can get. Next, apply the information provided to the map and begin your route plan. Take note of waypoints, altitudes and time splits so you have a plan to refer to throughout the day. Make sure that the tour you have planned is relevant to the experience of the group. Phase three is on the day. So on the morning of the tour, you're gonna to get up to date, accurate information, uh, the avalanche forecast, you're gonna look at the weather forecast, see if it's in tune with what you had the day before. Before you head out, tell someone where you're going and if you change your mind, make sure this person has up to date information on the change of plan. Uh, you're gonna look outside and just see what the mountains are doing and you know, almost get a feeling of whether you think it's the suitable day for the tour that you have planned. Uh, as you set off there, minute by minute, you should be assessing the conditions, you should be looking for the obvious uh, red flags maybe, avalanche activity, new snow, wind direction, all the things that are gonna affect you when you're out on the mountain. Then when you go out there, you might feel like you, you can go ahead with the tour, and as you're doing the tour, you'll keep up to date with the timing of, of what you're doing. Are you on plan? Are you off plan? And you might want to have a, go to plan B or plan C as the day goes on. If the conditions are good and it's all going as expected, then you're gonna have a great day.